till now you have been studying different statistical techniques. Let us move on to a new statistical technique that is called regression analysis. Under regression analysis, you will try to understand the assumptions underlying regression analysis, how to write objectives for regression analysis, how to formulate hypothesis and which statistical technique to use and how to interpret the result. Different assumptions underlying regression analysis are number one, there should be at least one predictor and one variable which is to be predicted. Second, for practical purpose, there must be at least three variables of which two are predictors and one which is to be predicted. The third one, all predictors must be significantly correlated with the variable which is to be predicted. And the last one, the scale of measurement of all the variables must be either interval scale or ratio scale. Now, how to write objectives whose data can be analyzed with the help of a regression analysis? The wording of the objective should be like this to study the individual contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burned out of teachers. For this objective, the hypothesis can be worded like this, there is no significant individual contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teachers. For testing this hypothesis, the regression analysis is used and the data can be analyzed using statistical package for social sciences. The SPSS outputs is given in table 1. From table 2, it can be seen that the beta coefficient for self efficacy and emotional competence is minus 0.915 and minus 0.099 respectively. And both these beta coefficients are significant at 0 0.01 level. Therefore, there is a significant contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teacher. Now, the individual contribution of self efficacy in predicting burnt out is 89.30 percent, which is much higher than that of emotional competence, whose percentage of individual contribution in predicting burnt out is 6.50. It may therefore, be said that self efficacy was found to be the best predictor of burnt out of teachers. Let us take another example. In this one, the objective is to study individual contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement of students. For this objective, the hypothesis can be formulated in the null form and it should be worded as there is no significant individual contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement of students. 
the data can be analyzed with the help of regression analysis and the analysis can be done with the help of SPSS. The SPSS output is given in table 3. From table 4, it can be seen that the beta coefficient for self confidence is 0 0.868, which is significant at 0 0.01 level. That means, there is a significant individual contribution of self confidence in predicting achievement of students. Therefore, the null hypothesis that there is no significant individual contribution of self confidence in predicting achievement of students is rejected. Further, the beta coefficient for intelligence is minus 0.115 which is not significant. That means, there is no significant individual contribution of intelligence in predicting achievement of students. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant individual contribution of intelligence in predicting achievement of student is not rejected. Further, the percentage of contribution of self confidence in predicting achievement is 66.84, which is high. It may therefore, be said that achievement of students can be predicted on the basis of self confidence of students. Let us understand how to write regression equation for prediction purpose. The objective can be stated like this. To establish regression equation for predicting burn out of teachers on the basis of self efficacy and emotional competence. For this objective, there cannot be any hypothesis, because here we are trying to establish the regression equation and we cannot test whether this regression equation is ok or not. So, therefore, there cannot be any testing of the hypothesis has hence no hypothesis should be formulated when the objective is to establish the regression equation on the basis of some variable for predicting another variable. Keeping the objective in the mind, the statistical technique to be used is regression analysis and from this analysis, one has to write the equation and that equation will be the regression equation. You already know that regression analysis can be done using SPSS. The output of SPSS is given in table 5. From the output of the SPSS, one can write the regression equation as given in table 6. From table 6, one can observe that if one has to predict the y the dependent variable on the basis of the two variables that is x 1 and x 2. Now, in this particular case, if one is interested in predicting burnt out of teachers on the basis of self confidence and emotional competence, then the regression equation given in table 6 can be used. In order to use this, the researcher should make sure that he uses 
the same tools to assess the self confidence as well as emotional competence of the teacher which he used while establishing this particular equation. Let us take another example. The objective can be stated like this to establish regression equation for predicting achievement of students on the basis of self confidence and intelligence. As I said earlier for this particular objective one cannot formulate any hypothesis because that cannot be tested therefore need not to formulate the hypothesis. Now the data can be analyzed with the help of regression equation and one can use SPSS. The output of SPSS is given in table 7. Using the information given in table 7, the regression equation as given in table 8 can be formed. From this particular equation, one can predict achievement provided the researcher knows the score of the student on self confidence as well as the intelligence. Once again, I like to tell you that the tools to be used for prediction purpose must be the same which were used while establishing this regression equation.